Hi friends, it's me, Mrs. Owen again with another uh, story to read with you. Um, it's a nonfiction book. Uh, can you tell that I like the ocean and sea life? I have many books. Um, and in fact, I like it so much that when I woke up from my nap, this was on my back. Can you see that? What is that? Oh my goodness. It's a shark's dorsal fin. How did that happen? Okay, so sharks have two dorsal fins. Um, this is the larger of the two. It grows on the very top of their back and it's the one that comes out of the water uh, when they are coming to the surface. And the, the second dorsal fin that they have is right before their tail. So pretty cool. Um, well, I'm just teasing. No, uh, my son was a shark one year for Halloween. So we saved it and I thought it would be fun uh, to help me read this book to you, uh, Big Sharks by Tori Kassara. Big Sharks. Did you know that sharks are a type of fish? They have gills like other fish do. Sharks gills work like filters to help them take in oxygen from the water so they can breathe. Most fish have bones, but shark skeletons are made of cartilage instead. Cartilage is strong but softer than bone. This flexibility helps sharks hunt because they can move easily through the water. So we have cartilage too, like in our nose and in our ears. Um, so it says, why do you think sharks need to be able to move quickly? Take a second and think about that. Okay, so sharks need to be able to move quickly, not only for the water to run over their gills so they could breathe in the water, but they also need to be able to catch the prey. And fish are very fast. Most sharks are carnivores. That means they eat meat, such as smaller fish, seals, dolphins, and even seagulls with their sharp teeth. Sharks have super senses to help them. A shark can hear very low sounds like swimming and splashing underwater. It can even feel the movement of its prey. So remember, prey are the types of food that this predator, like a shark, eats. So seals, seagulls, uh, fish. What other senses do you think help sharks hunt? So here they're showing you where the shark's ears are. Uh, but what else do you think is important? I bet they need to be able to smell really good and see very good. So they have noses and eyes and ears like we do. Whoa, sharks have a lot of teeth. Their teeth are in layers. So if any tooth breaks off, a new one can take its place right away. Certain sharks can have up to 4,000 teeth in their mouth at a time, but only the front row is used for eating. Almost all sharks have skin that feel like sandpaper. Instead of fish scales, sharks have skin made of denticles. Denticles feel like sharp, hard teeth. A shark's rough skin protects it from getting hurt. And then the question is, do you think a fish's scales feel hard like a shark's or smooth and slippery? What do you think? So I just learned from reading um, here that sharks have denticles, which feel like small, sharp teeth, um, whereas fish have scales. So I'm going to guess that fish are slimy, slippery. Okay, and then here they're showing you uh, a whale shark skin. So it's covered in spots. And here's a whale shark. And although it's called a whale shark, it is not a whale. It is a shark and it's one of the biggest fish that live in the ocean. And what's something fascinating about these guys is they're not like other sharks in that they don't eat um, other fish. They are filter feeders. So they open their really big mouth and they just suck all the water in and they take the nutrients from the water. Sharks live in salt water. Some kinds of sharks like to live in warmer oceans, while others live where it is cold. Most sharks live to be about 25 years old. The short fin mako is the fastest shark on the planet. It can reach speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. So I put the mako shark in our um, slideshow presentation from our Zoom meeting this morning. So they go really fast. The largest shark is the whale shark. A whale shark can measure up to 60 feet long, making it the biggest fish in the ocean. The deepest 
sorry, the deep water dogfish is one of the world's smallest sharks found in the Caribbean Sea. It can grow to be about eight inches long. Nurse sharks are bottom dwellers. They live in warm water and move very slowly. Unlike most sharks, a nurse shark has smooth skin. So these sharks are common where I grew up on the Gulf Coast. Very common down there at the beach. A hammerhead shark's specially shaped head gives it even better senses for hunting. Hammerhead sharks also use their wide heads to pin their prey to the ocean floor. Yikes. Tiger sharks get their name from the dark stripes they have when they are young. As they grow older, the stripes fade. Tiger sharks will eat anything they find, so they are known as the waste baskets of the sea. Are there other types of sharks with stripes? Not that I know of, but if we're never sure, we should always investigate. Great white sharks are really good hunters. Their tails help them reach speeds of up to 15 miles per hour and they can sense even tiny amounts of blood in the water up to three miles away. Can a great white shark swim faster than a short fin mako shark? Hmm, let's take a minute and think about that. So, hmm, what do you think? I remember reading that the mako shark can swim 20 miles an hour, and we're learning here that the great white shark can swim 15 miles an hour. Which number is bigger, 20 or 15? You guessed it, 20 is bigger. So the mako shark can swim faster than the great white shark. Sharks are fascinating fish. We know of about 400 different kinds of sharks swimming in the oceans and scientists are still finding more. Who knows what other types of amazing sharks are waiting to be discovered? Whoa, look at him. He's spooky looking, but apparently he's some sort of shark. The end. Have a great day. I hope my dorsal fin goes away. Bye. Until next time.